Dana here, and welcome to my vlog around the house. Well, I'm back working on this freaking LG dishwasher again because it keeps giving us that AE code. Again, which means there's something leaking. And freaking brand spanking new, so why would it be leaking? So, but I'm looking in here, I'm seeing all kinds of water in here, and I'm trying to track down where it is. Because this thing is a big, this this is a big tub. And what happens if you get a leak, it's got to it's got to have a priority to shut down so you're not flooding your kitchen. So I'm thinking that this thing here is a is this thing right here, and I think that's a float. And I think when it gets to a certain point, it shuts down because I can come back in here. And I can put a towel right in here, and I can soak all the water. I can feel there's water in here, so I can soak that all up, and then the darn thing will run again, but it, it's filling up faster now and shutting down before, before the uh, complete cycle is done now. So it's getting really, really annoying. Um, this is the one that you saw me change the heater. Heater pump combination because you can't just get the heater. So, really poor design. And I'm seeing more and more of them out to the road right now. $700 worth of junk. And you can't get anybody to work on the darn things. Everything but LG. I got water right there still. I'm wiping stuff up, but I don't. Alright, it's a good. Can you see that? That, I think that's the float right straight ahead right there that straight up on top which is actually in the bottom so when it fills up to a certain point it says no it's time to shut down and they'll give you the AE AE code and a little leakage there so I thought it was this originally thought it was leaking around this thing here so I seal that sucker up and for all I know is it's still leaking anyway stay tuned all right so I just flipped it back over now the majority of my water is right here and this thing here I guess the aerator but I don't know if this thing gets pl plugged somehow this is open and I'm feeling water right here. So as if it comes down, dumps its dumps water down there, and then fills right here, and then goes around the wherever that freaking float is. I think that's I'm looking at right here. Let's say here. I think that's a float. When that fills up, it shuts down. So I think I got the majority of water. And the only thing I can see is this stupid thing here, and it's open, and I got I can feel water right here. So common sense is telling me it's got something to do with this thing here. I'm gonna pull that apart, see if I can clean, see if it's plugged somehow. Something's going on here. I don't know. You know it looks like dishwasher. Maybe it looks like solution there. So maybe that's it. All right, to get this off, you gotta go inside. You got this piece right here that latches on that, that and locks it. Right. Right. Pop those. And those just pull out. You get the roll rings around the outside. And secure that, so I'll do that. Come on. Okay, after 20, 20 minutes, I finally got this area Something to do it. up in there. There's a freaking little float thing, and this is all plugged up in here. So I'm hoping that that might something to do with my problem here. So we'll find out. Get it back in there, run it, and see what happens. Um, I gotta get all that water and crap out of there. It's been in there for it's the only thing I can see. It's leaking out of. It comes leaking out of this part right here and I'm not sure what that's got to do with anything but 
I have no idea how this thing functions. Okay, that gets its hose, and little pliers will get that. This thing's gonna go like so. Back on here. Hopefully those are sealing. Let me get my hands on them. Um, then you got this little sensor that's going up in here. This it goes like this. So it locks in like so. Now this one on the inside has got your route. Got that. Thing's gonna grab on it and pull it tight. And make sure these are seated because they don't look like it. Okay, now push that in. Make sure your rubber seal is on the in. Make sure the rubber seal is on the inside. Uh, push it on the inside, and then twist it and turn it clockwise, and get that locked in. All right, it should be nice and solid on the outside here. All right, so that's that. I made sure that was nice and tight down there. I've got the water. I did a little more drying down here, and then we'll get it back to installed. It's gonna go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, power's back on it. So it's all ready to go again? It means absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's all ready to go, but it means absolutely nothing. Yeah, we'll see. It does that every time, honey. Hopefully that's... And then it says, nope, not today. I'm not getting all the way through. I'll start up, but I ain't finishing. So, anyway... Stay tuned. If there's nothing forward on this, then that was the problem. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. And you'll catch me on the next. And you cross these logs around the house. And this was the LG with the code of AE. Okay, here's your tray. Here's your tray that fills. You can feel when it fills up with water. And then what I usually wind up doing is putting paper towels in here, soaking the water up. And then sometimes you'll get it to run through a cycle. But if you've got problems, you're going to know because this little tray right here is going to get full of water. It's gone through its first wash since I cleaned out that air. I still don't know what the heck that is, but um, I reached out of here a minute ago, and <clears throat> I didn't feel any, I didn't feel any, any water in that tray. As of right now, it passed its first wash. So I managed to get this in before I edited the video, so here we go. As of right now. It ran through its first cycle, and there's no water in that tray. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. Catch me on the next Dana's Vlogs around the house. And this was the troubleshooting of the LG dishwasher that winds up giving an AE code. As of this editing, it has gone through five cycles with no issues, and that tray is still dry.